cause that everything seems to be fully operational. There. Cause that everything seems to be fully, fully operational. There. Cause Let's... that everything seems to be fully, fully operational. operational. I've got wheat thins here. It's not wheat thins. Frosted mini wheats. Seems to be fully, fully operational. operational. Just to snack wheat on. Thins here. Not wheat, wheat thins. thins. Frosted, frosted mini, mini wheats. wheats. Seems to be fully operational. fully operational. That was too early that time. Just to snack But no, these aren't here. wheat thins. Not, not wheat thins. thins. See. Frosted, frosted mini, mini frosted mini wheats. Fully operational. operational. That was I missed that one. Time. Just to snap. But no, these aren't wheat thins. Not wheat thins. See. Frosted, yeah. frosted mini, mini frosted mini wheats. I need to send this link. Fully operational. To Mason. I missed that one. Time. Fully operational. But no, these aren't wheat thins. Oh, I was way Not early. See. Frosted, frosted mini frosted mini. I need to send this link. Fully operational. Mason. I missed that one. Time. Fully operational. Um, but no, these aren't wheat thins. Oh, I was way There early. it is. Share. See? Copy. Frosted mini I need to send this link. I need to mod Mason to Mason. I missed that one. Fully operational. But no, these aren't wheat thins. Oh, I was way early. There it is. Share. Copy. I need to send this link. I need to mod Mason to Mason. I should send this to Nicholas as well. Fully operational. Um, but no, these aren't wheat thins. Oh, I was way no, There it is. Share. Copy. I need to send this. Holy mackerel. What if I open I should send this to Nicholas the game and we listen to the intro over and over for him? There it is. Share. Copy. I need to send Fully operational. What if I open the game? That's what I'm doing now. And we listen to the intro. Over and over for a minute. I like that idea. Fully operational. What if I open some more wheat thins that aren't what I'm doing now? Frosted mini wheats. I like that idea. Fully operational. Oh, thank God the audio sounds good. I turned it on earlier. It sounded all crackly and I spent an hour trying to figure out why. I like that idea. I hate that. Oh, oh, thank God the audio sounds good. I turned it on earlier. It sounded like crackly, and I spent an hour trying to figure out why. I like that idea. I hate that. Oh, thank God the audio sounds good. I turned it on earlier. It sounded like crackly, and I spent an hour trying to figure out why. I like that idea. I hate that. Oh, thank God the audio sounds good. I turned it on earlier. It sounded like crackly, and I spent an hour trying to figure out why. Oh, thank God the audio sounds good. I turned it on earlier. It sounded like crackly, and I spent an hour trying to figure out why. Oh, thank God the audio sounds good. I turned it on earlier. It sounded like crackly, and I spent an hour. Anyway. Let me pause the stream. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago. What happened last time? By next generation we snuck forces, into the base. Being led by members of Foxhound. We met some guy that They're died of a heart attack the twice. Over the remains of Big Boss. Two different guys now that I'm thinking that about it. One was hours like a scientist and he told us to meet this other guy. You'll have two he also, objectives. <clears throat> what did First, he tell us? I remember Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. This place we broke into. They're storing nuclear weapons. Secondly, you're to investigate uh, or not the terrorists have the ability and they're not managing it very well. There's like waste barrels leaking everywhere or something. What's the insertion <clears throat> method? 
then we met this older guy. I remember Revolver Ocelot. Because he uses a revolver. And then... Uh, and... That guy also died. Not Revolver, but we beat him. And then there was a man in a tank voiced by a person I know in real life going by a different name that I didn't realize. And then there was a ninja. We're at the ninja who goes invisible and wants to be punched. He enjoys it. Giant and shaman. And revolver Oscar. I need to figure something out first, though. And a formidable gunfighter. And finally, what if I do this? Charge of them. Foxhound squad leader. Liquid snake. Liquid, Liquid snake. snake. The man with Liquid the same death. As you. This is tea. Nuclear it's not water. water. I felt better spending three dollars on tea than I did on water. So. Target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This yes. Is a top secret black op. Don't I've got two gummy worms support. as well. So we're all snacked up for the next couple hours. I'm not going to start the game right away. I just want to... I found this guy on TikTok, listen to him. The healthcare with bowlies. The healthcare and the bowlies. That's the only thing I can understand him saying. But it was... It was worth it. I like listening to the intro. I'm not ready to start playing, but I didn't want to play that music anymore. I've only been alive for 10 minutes. Okay, so I do have the game set up. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Fox. Does my chat on screen work? They're demanding that the government turn it worked over the last time, but not bombs. this time. And they say that if their demands What's are up not with that? Within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA chief Donald That's Anderson kind of annoying. And Let's see if I can fix Armstead, that. Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists um, have the ability to make a nuclear strike. Widgets. Stop them if they do. Chat with officers. We'll approach um, the disposal facility by sub. And then it should work. Man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech special forces unit Foxhound, your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still Let's around. see what happens there if I make it. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. 
Psycho Mattis with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf. Sniper Wolf. Deadly Sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus. Master Disguise. What? Vulcan Raven. If I send it from here. And Revolver Ocelot. Specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. I don't understand. Finally, in charge of them, Foxhound Squad Liquid Snake. Liquid oh, snake. there it is. The man with the same code name as you. Okay, a cool. So now I want it to disappear. The whole island. After. By Kodak after you reach your target. Hide message you? after four sure seconds. It says. Oh, here we go. Mission. Weapons and equipment. Five. OSP. Yes. Save. Top secret black op. One. Don't oh, there it went. Official support. Let's make it 15. <laughs> oh. God, loosen up here. Put Streamlabs alerts on top. And we're good to go. I can probably. <coughs> probably play the video game soon. I can probably play the video game soon. What are in the options menu on this game? I just want to see. Option. Captions on. Sound. Stereo. Monaral. They don't just put mono. That's interesting. I've, I don't think I've ever seen monaral screen. What is this? Oh, brightness. That's fine. Key config. Ooh. Well, I already learned the other way. I don't want to. I don't want to confuse myself any more than I am. Briefing. Is, this, is that just the intro? Oh, what is this? It's been a long time, Snake. I should have known you were behind this, Colonel. That's no way to greet an old war buddy, Snake. What do you want from me? just invited you here so we could have a talk. Invited? That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me? Sorry if they were a little rough with you. But we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from Foxhound. You're not my commander anymore, and I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. How you old is Snake here? Words. I know it. Excuse me. Who's this? Dr. Naomi Hunter. She's chief of Foxhound's medical staff and an expert in gene therapy. Are you military? No, civilian. I've been sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. Don't worry, this injection won't hurt a bit. What's the shot for? What's wrong? You don't like shots? Snake, listen up. It all went down five hours ago. Heavily armed soldiers occupied Shadow Moses Island, a remote island off the coast of Alaska. What soldiers? Next generation special forces, led by members of Unit Foxhound. They've presented Washington with a single demand, and they say that if it isn't met, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon? I'm afraid so. Nuclear weapon. You see, the island is the site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal facility. Foxhound hijacking a nuclear weapon? Now you understand how serious the situation is. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson. Oh, this is the intro now, right? And the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. They're both being held as hostages. These are different takes of the same lines, it sounds like. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to launch a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. Any questions, Snake? Questions? I haven't even said whether I'd accept this mission. 
Well, you can make up your mind after you hear more about the situation. Tell me more. Oh. Hmm. Oh, there's more. Oh, okay. I want to watch all these. Colonel, I don't work for the government anymore. Let me go back to Twin Lakes. Why, Snake? Is your life in Alaska all that great? There's a dog sled race this week. Next Saturday, I have to be in Anchorage. Get dinner, Rod? The longest sled race in the world? When did you become a dog musher? Right yeah, now, my 50 Huskies are my only family. I've got to take care of them. What? He's got dogs? Don't worry about your dogs. What do you mean? I'm sorry, Snake, but this vessel is headed for the Bering Sea. There's no room for debate. I told you, even if I do owe you, I don't owe anything to this army or this country. You will accept this assignment. Why should I be stupid enough to do that? I'm no patriot. Snake, there's enough dirt in your file from your days as an agent to keep you in the stockade until you're a very old man. Oh, I see. Blackmail. No, Snake. I prefer to look at it as helping you come to a decision more easily. But anyway, I know you better than that. You take this assignment even without the threat. Why do you say that? You're a natural-born soldier. You're not the grow old gracefully type. It's the same for all of us who've seen real action. The only place we can feel truly alive is on the battlefield. I'm a soldier too. I know those feelings of powerlessness, frustration that you feel every day. You've tried to play the Boy Scout out there in Alaska, but you can't race dogs in the snow forever. Why don't you come back to us and be a soldier again? You think my life is some kind of a joke? Snake, okay, I just want to give you back. I didn't realize life. he had been like forced to do this mission. So that's interesting. Maybe that's mentioned in the beginning of the game and I just am dumb, you know? That's a possibility. Hold on, there's more. Why did it go back? Wait. Okay, let's do this one. Wait, what? Can I not watch these yet? What? Are these not things to watch? Oh! Oh! So what did I just watch? What is this? Okay, maybe we're not going to watch all of these right now. Colonel, who are you speaking for? Naturally, I'm representing the U.S. government. So who's in supervisory control of this operation? The President of the United States. Which means that the President must be meeting with his top aides in the map room about now, huh? No, at this point they're still video conferencing with each other. If that's a real nuclear warhead, shouldn't they issue a COG? Not yet. The Secretary of Defense has operational control and is fully aware of the situation. After you infiltrate, if you determine they possess nuclear launch capabilities, a COG will be issued. Well, if they haven't relocated to the nuclear shelter under Mount Washington, I suppose there isn't that much reason to worry yet. Is the National Security Agency in on this? Yes. So is the DIA, the Defense Intelligence Agency. The DIA? I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. They'll yeah, be sending hey. us some support. We don't need desk jockeys. We need a nuclear weapons specialist. Of course. Man, I'm tired. A nuclear weapons specialist has already been assigned to us. I want another T, but I only bought one. Is it okay if I go to the grocery store and just leave this running real quick? Do they even have tea at the... Let's watch... 
Dr. Na or Roy Campbell. Colonel, you're retired. Why are you involved in this? Because there aren't many people who know Foxhound as well as I do. Is that really the only reason? I've been soldiering for a long time. I don't know anything else. I guess even though I'm getting a little old, I still love to be in the field. Colonel, you're a lousy liar. Tell me the real reason. Okay, Snake. Sorry. I'll be frank. A person very dear to me is being held hostage. Who is it? My niece, Meryl. Oh, that was the... Uh... The other prisoner when the dude had a heart attack. What was your niece doing here? Several soldiers were reported missing the day of the revolt. And my niece was one of those called in as an emergency replacement. She looks like you. She's my little brother's girl. He died in the Gulf War. Since then, I've been watching after her. Personal motive, Colonel. That's not very soldierly. I'm retired. I'm just an old man now. And I'm your friend. Since when are we friends? I've thought of us as friends since the fall of Zanzibar. With my personality, I don't have too many friends. That's what I trust about you. It's what makes you human. Please, Snake. Save my niece, Meryl. All right, but I have two conditions. Name them. One, no more secrets between us. I want complete disclosure at all times. And two, I'll only accept orders directly from you, Colonel. No cutoffs involved, okay? Agreed. That's why I was called. But one thing. What? I'm not a Colonel anymore. Just a retired old warhorse. I understand, Colonel. And there's so much going on. Okay, I want to watch this one now, too. That doctor, is she part of this operation, too? She was in charge of Foxhound's gene therapy. She knows more about those men than anyone else. You mean you've seen them naked? Make no mistake, I'm not a <laughs> nurse. I'm a scientist. By the way, what was that injection for? It's a combination of nanomachines and an anti-freezing peptide so that your blood and other bodily fluids don't freeze, even at sub-arctic temperatures. Nanomachines? Not just one kind, either. There are different types which will replenish the supply of adrenaline, nutrition, and sugar in your bloodstream. Hmm. Now I don't have to worry about food. I also put some nootropics in there. Say what? Nootropics. A class of drugs which will help improve your mental functioning. It'll make me smarter, huh? Anything else? Yes. Benzedrine. It's a type of stimulant. It'll keep you alert and responsive for 12 straight hours. That was quite a cocktail. Anything else in there? Those nanomachines will also keep your codex batteries charged up. I guess I can call you when I'm ready to go on a diet. You're welcome. He's a freaking... He's <clears throat> a freaking smartass. Okay. Should we watch? If I watch the support crew, will that? Oh, will that uh, blank out the whole thing? We need backup from a specialist. I'm just an amateur when it comes to nuclear weapons. I know. Uh. That's why I've requested the assistance of a military analyst named Nastasha Romanenko. She'll be providing you backup by codec. A female analyst. She's built up an impressive record as an advisor for the Nuclear Emergency Surge Team. Contact her if you have any questions. She's also an expert on high-tech weapons. Where's she working from? At her home in Los Angeles. California. Seems like a million miles away. Who else? Oh, just her? Okay. Why is it support crew, but these two get their own thing, uh, infiltration? This is actually interesting stuff to watch. 
Tell me about the nuclear weapon disposal facility. The disposal facility includes a hardened underground base. Even with our most advanced intelligence gathering equipment, we can't tell what's happening inside. So someone needs to penetrate, gather intelligence, and report back. Sounds like a spy movie. What's the insertion method? Well, an air insertion is impossible. Not with this storm going on. We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. Approach? Yes, within a few miles of it. The facility is equipped with sonar detection capabilities. They'd be able to hear our engine or propeller noise. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. Launch? Same as a torpedo. Only this has no propulsion device of its own. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. You want me to swim Damn. in sub-zero Alaskan water? Don't worry. That suit represents the latest advances in polythermal technology. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. <laughs> okay. Real quick though, I'm gonna go get apple juice. Let me actually use this. I'm not back yet, but I put food in the microwave, so I'm gonna sit up here for a minute. <clears throat> Something up here smells like Red Bull. Is it this tea? It's this tea. Man. I'm 
falling the freak asleep. I gotta run downstairs and get my uh, my food that I put in the microwave real quick, but I'll be right back. All right, I have returned, and I'm sorry because I realized that that, oh, this is the wrong, I, oh, this is wrong too. I realized that the uh, Be Right Back screen was playing with the desktop audio on, so it was just uh, probably sounding terrible. Oops. Uh, I did get food though. I got this purple carrot, meatball, and peas. <clears throat> I had to turn my heat on a bit there. Let's watch another video while I eat this stuff. Time limit? I don't remember mention of a time limit. What's the time limit? 24 hours. Oh. They say they'll launch after 24 hours. Do they say what the target will be? So far, they haven't mentioned the target. When did the countdown start? Five hours ago. So, is that 19 hours then? Here, we got detailed information. I guess I'm gonna watch all of these because I like, I just, I wanna know. The chief of DARPA and the president of an arms manufacturing company. These are the guys we already saw. They have at a nuclear weapons disposal facility. 
The truth is that secret exercises were being conducted at the time the terrorist group attacked. Must be extremely important exercises if those two were directly involved. Were they testing some kind of new advanced weapon? I'm not privy to that information. Do we know exactly where they're being held? The DAPA chief has also been injected with the mini transmitter. As you get closer, you should be able to pick up his location on your radar. We found him though, and they both died. Meatball too hot. Do they really have the ability to launch a nuclear missile? They say they do. They even gave us the serial number of the warhead they plan to use. Was the number confirmed? I'm afraid so. At the very least, they've got their hands on a real nuclear warhead. Isn't there some kind of safety device to prevent this type of terrorism? Yes. <coughs> Every missile and warhead in our arsenal is equipped with a PAL, which uses a discrete detonation code. PAL. Permissive action link. The safety control system built into all nuclear weapons systems. But even so, we can't rest easy. Why not? Because the DARPA chief knows the detonation code. But even if they have a nuclear warhead, it must have been removed from its missile. All the missiles on these disposal sites are supposed to be dismantled. It's not that easy to get your hands on an ICBM. That used to be true. But since the end of the Cold War, you can get anything if you have enough money and the right connections. I'm actually glad we watched all this because it's reminding me what the heck is actually happening in the story. How well armed are these terrorists? I know there was an exercise going on at the time they revolted. They're heavily armed, I'm afraid. What about their battle experience? The six members of Foxhound in charge are all hardened veterans. They're tough enough to eat nails and ask for seconds. I wouldn't expect anything Out less so from far, Foxhound. Yeah. The others are next generation special forces. They're not your average grunts either. Okay. So what do they want? So what exactly are they demanding? I swear me and remains. Snake have like the same remains. minds. That's right. To be more accurate, cell specimens which contain the individual's genomic information. Cell it's specimens? Too hot. Why would they want that? The terrorists need them. You see, these next generation special forces have been strengthened through gene therapy. Strengthened? You've heard of the Human Genome Project. They've been mapping the human genome. And they're nearly finished. The Following genome. up on this research, the military <clears throat> has been working towards identifying those genes which are responsible for making effective soldiers. There are genes that do that? Yes. And using gene therapy, they're able to transplant those genes into regular soldiers. Gene therapy? I'll explain this part. With gene therapy, we can remove those genes which we know may lead to sickness or disease, and at the same time, splice in genes with beneficial effects, such as resistance to cancer, for example. In other words, okay. we can overcome all sorts of genetic diseases, and at the phone. same time, add genetic characteristics as desired. Okay, and so if you knew what genes were responsible for making the perfect soldier, you could implant them in the same way, right? Yes, we could. But it all depends on being able to isolate and identify those soldier genes. And in order to do that, it's helpful if you can study the genomic information of one of the greatest soldiers ever. Okay. <coughs> oh wait, I watched that one, didn't I? Crap. One of the greatest soldiers ever. Oh no, ever. I didn't. The man they call the greatest warrior of the 20th century. You don't mean Big, Big boss. boss. That's right. We've been working feverishly to identify the genes responsible for his incredible combat skill. So far, we've discovered about 60 of the so-called soldier genes. So his body was recovered after all. Yes, and his cells have remained frozen in a cryo chamber. His genomic information is a priceless treasure to mankind. Priceless to the military, perhaps. His body was burned severely, but it was possible to restore his DNA profile from just a single strand of his hair. You people are amazing. And then you're gonna transplant those genes into soldiers? 
Yes. We'll use a process that I discovered called gene targeting. The strongest soldiers don't become what they are by acquiring their skills through training or experience. We now know that hereditary factors are far more crucial for creating superior soldiers. I wonder what Snake, genes we can't specifically. Give them his body. It's potentially more dangerous than all the nuclear warheads on that island put together. <laughs> I hear the terrorists are calling themselves the Sons of Big Boss. The Sons of Big Boss? Okay. Interesting. Tell me about these next generation special forces. They started out as an anti-terrorist special ops unit, made up of former members of biochem units, technical escort units, and the nuclear emergency search team. Their purpose was to respond to threats involving next generation weapons of mass destruction, including NBC weapons. Until they were added, that is. Who's they? These guys didn't start out as regular army. Looks like a pretty international group. Mercenaries? Yeah, and it gets worse. Most of them were from a Merc agency that I think you're familiar with. They were part of Big Boss's private guard. And after Big Boss went down, the military just bought out all their contracts. Outer heaven. After that, they were merged with our own VR unit, Force 21, and retrained. If you ask me, these so-called next generation special forces should be called simulated soldiers. They have no real battle experience. Video game players, huh? Don't forget they've all been strengthened with gene therapy. They carry genes which make them excellent soldiers. Squids got genes. Squids got genes. I thought using genetically <coughs> modified soldiers was prohibited by international law. Yes, but those are just declarations, not actual treaties. The interesting thing is that nearly every member of the unit conspired in this attack. The reason for unanimous approval. Uh. How could an entire unit be subverted to rebellion? They're calling it a revolution. Since they all went through the same gene therapy, they probably felt closer than brothers. I want to go through the gene therapy. Their only family. The sons of Big Boss. But if they were regular army, they must have been interviewed periodically <laughs> by army counselors. According to their files, they all got straight A's on their psychological tests. They all seemed like fine, upstanding, patriotic soldiers. But they all took part in the uprising? No. Several people didn't show up on the day of the exercise. That's why there was a resupply of troops. Was there any sign recently that something might be wrong? There was a report a month ago that they were acting strangely. Apparently, they consulted classified information about the soldier genes and performed their own gene therapy experiments. They can do that even without you? Well, our gene therapy process is almost completely automated. And besides that, they're all geniuses with IQs over 180. Damn. Even the existence of this genome army is a national secret of the highest order. We've been hoping to investigate this thing quietly and deal with it behind closed doors. All right, we're going to learn about Foxhound now. High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound, your former unit and one that I was a commander of. An elite group combining firepower and expertise. They're every bit as good as when I was commanding them. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved okay. in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, <coughs> master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant. Okay, we beat that guy. And revolver. And we Ocelot, beat that guy. Specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. Looks like a lovely bunch of folks. So did Snake will be meeting under these circumstances? And finally, with these people, in I guess charge of them. Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? 
Yes. And you're the only person who can stand against him. Why? Tell me why. Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. The man with the same code name as you. Tell me what you know. He fought in the Gulf War as a teenager, the youngest person what? in the SAS. His job was to track down and destroy mobile Scud missile launching platforms. You were there too, I believe. Didn't you infiltrate Western Iraq with a platoon of Green Berets? I was just a kid myself back then. Uh, the details are classified, but it seems that originally he penetrated the Middle East as a sleeper for the SIS. He was a spy for the British Secret Intelligence Service? But he never once showed his face in Century House. He was taken prisoner in Iraq, and after that, there was no trace of him for several years. <coughs> after you retired, he was rescued and became a member of Foxhound. I thought that by the time I left, they were no longer using code names. I don't know his real name. That information is so highly classified that even I can't look at it. But all the other people had Here's code names too, right? Well, I guess. Pretty shocking, huh? Your skin tone is different, but otherwise you two are exact duplicates. That's crazy. I have a twin? I don't know the details, but it seems so. That's why we really need you for this mission. You're the only one who can beat him. Now that I've met you, I know. You've got something that he doesn't. What? I can see it in your eyes. What? What do I have? Why don't I find that thought more comforting? Okay. We watched all this crap. So I need to borrow your scissors. Wait. What are you going to do? Didn't I? Don't worry. Just gonna clean myself up a little. <coughs> huh? What did I hit? I hit exit, didn't I? I don't want to be mistaken for the leader of the terrorists. You get a nice haircut, you know. What is special? Previous operations? Metal Gear. Wait, are these? Oh. I was like, can we just play these? That's crazy, but. I don't need to learn about Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 right now. Uh. <laughs> what is VR training? I don't want to do training mode. Okay. Load game. We last <coughs> left off. Uh, reality. Does it tell us? Oh, hell yeah. Snake must try to rescue the Metal Gear Chief Engineer Dr. Hal Emmerich to find out how to stop the nuclear launch. After going past the high voltage electric floors in the nuclear warhead storage building's second floor basement, Snake sees a bunch of dead enemy soldiers in the stealth camouflage shadow. Sensing the endangered life of Dr. Emmerich, Snake heads to <clears throat> Snake heads for the lab in the northwest of the nuclear warhead storage building's second floor basement where he is trapped. I like that it <laughs> Nuclear, that's such a long name. Nuclear Warhead Storage Building, second floor basement. All right, so. <coughs> Do I have rations? No. And. Guns are no helpful. What is this red dot here? Is, oh, he's alive. Okay. Ah! <laughs> 
this fucking guy. Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? <coughs> I want to be able to turn invisible. Oh, what next? God, this is going to suck. Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. What does that I have mean? I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come Freaking from another nerd. world to do battle with you. What is it? Revenge? It's like one of my Japanese animes. It's nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you. Or you will kill me. It makes no difference. No! <laughs> ah, I he can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. <clears throat> okay. Now, make me feel it. I just make have to be alive again. calm. Don't do anything stupid. I need to grab the rations in that corner. Probably just use them now. Right, can I go through the window now? Hell yeah. That's good, Snake. Good. Now we can fight this warrior. Yeah, this fight, dude. Bring it. I'm gonna win this time. First try. <clears throat> I think I tried like what five or six times the other day before I decided. To... God damn it! Shoot him. Oh no, he gets his sword out right away. <coughs> There's no fucking with him like that. Good to know though. Freaking heck. Oh, it is one of those tubes. 
We'll get it next time. Skip all this now, crap. Make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Okay, let's go. God damn it. That's good, Snake. Come on. Good. <laughs> now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand it is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a woman. What? Oh, I hadn't healed yet because I'm an idiot. God damn it. Why am I so stupid? What was that ding sound? I don't remember that any other time. Now. Make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Bring it. You're not bringing it. Oh my god. I can't believe I got so close that one time, and then I died to an explosion or whatever. So that one. Yeah. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Why is he stuck over there? He's gonna get me. Oh, hey, there's a PlayStation on the desk right there. That's cool. Right here.
where? Teleporting to like I can't use grenades on him, right? That would be stupid. Okay. This is it. It's over now. Let me skip all this crap. Now, no, make kick his ass. Make me feel alive again. that like sometimes that third punch or kick just doesn't connect <laughs> but for some reason the first two do oh that was stupid hold on I didn't... Let's just see what these freaking things do. What do we have, even? Where's he at? to know that that is a, an option. Oh my god. Probably better to use once he goes invisible, right? Close, dude. That's good snake. Hurry 
Been We're gonna freaking lose. Like I already know. Let's just do this. Where is he at? Literally, where is he at? Oh my god, where is he at? Am I stupid? Let's do this again. Stand back up. Wait, what if I, what if I stun him and then shoot him? He's, okay, that's an idea. Maybe I'll do good and not need to this time. Oh. I was so close. I'm his name. Like old times. <coughs> I've been waiting for the pain. What does that mean? Come on. No! You can't freaking teleport. Alright, this time I want to see what happens if I shoot him when I... Uh, after I stun him. After I heal and after I get him into like that second or third phase. Now make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. That's good, Snake. Oh my god, come on. That was crap and you know it. I just need to play the whole thing as if I have no health left.
some of these hits are questionable, I feel like. Maybe I'm just bad, though. So much better this time. in that corner. I hate that I can only hit him once with that. Like, I feel like using the grenade should allow me to... No, you're about to do something crazy. No! This is it. I cannot fail. Like, I know what to do. I just have to not mess up. Oh my god, I thought I almost messed up right there. That would have been embarrassing. Yeah, I know, I know. You want to fist fight like warriors. It's 
cool that stuff breaks when I punch it too. At least I think that's what happened right there. Why do I fuck up so easily sometimes? I don't... Just kill me. I want to start over. Try something else. <coughs> what do we have? Grenades, stun grenades, grenades. Okay. We're just gonna. This is experimentation round. Not even trying to win right now. Now. Make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Oh, oh. Need to heal That's right away. Good snake. Wait, why am I not? Oh, if I won't bring it up. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool. I want to grab these because I need those. Okay, here's what I want to do. I just want to see this work. I, don't even, I know I don't need to do it now. Why can't I change my... There we go. That was barely anything. Can I do this? I don't think that did anything. But he also did like run away right then, so we can still try. Let's just see. Oops. That just hurt me. <laughs> oh, he won't even get up until I hit buttons. That's interesting. Just, just kill me. Like, I experimented, and now I need to just try it a different way. Or the normal way I was doing it. I guess. me or are the now, rations in a different spot sometimes? Oh, it's probably because I had the key cards on. <laughs> I know. Oh, 
Behind me. God, he's gone. He's right there now. Are you just standing here? Running in this circle and being prepared. And knowing when I can get close without. Hurry up and catch me! Like, here will be a. I'm just gonna stand there. Like <clears throat> Oh my god, half my health. I have three of those grenades that I can stun him with, but it's not going to be enough. He still has so much health left. Now, Maybe I should just get him to that point feel, and then use them all anyway. Make me feel alive again. Warriors, hand to hand, it is the basis of all combat. A 
only a fool trust his life. I have to be just so freaking focused. That was stupid of me to turn around like that. That's where I kept messing up earlier. Just trying to do it as fast as possible. I just ran past him, that was crazy. up in that corner by the uh, filing cabinet so we can just okay we can run up and punch him in the face right here that's right Oh, that was incredibly lucky. Oh, I should have seen him right there, I feel like. Hurry up and catch me. I don't know where you're at. Oh, that was dumb lucky guess on my part. I'm still not sure if grenades work. Let's... I just want to find out. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use it immediately. I don't care. Here comes the real challenge. Speak. No, no. Yeah, yeah, man, we're still on this. I've been doing this for like 30 minutes now. What's wrong? Snake. Snake. I'm getting better though. We're getting closer. It's so hard, dude. No, it's all good. It's just so hard. <laughs> now, that and this, I'm using an Xbox controller, so I don't know if like, my controls feel delayed or I'm just stupid. It just feels weird. That's good, Snake. 
do know I need to absolutely heal right away. Good. Now we can fight this warrior. Hand to hand. Okay. It is the basis of all combat. Burb. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Jeez, next to this cabinet. off and stretch for a second there oh, okay we're back no see he like does this freaking instant transmission bullshit Maybe I need to... Uh. Okay, I can do this. <coughs> Wait. Okay, I got this. After he throws that punch, there's a second where... Oh yeah. Him or me. If I if like one hit is gonna kill me if I mess up. Get away, get away. Hurt me more. 
I think I can just do this now. I don't know where you're at, bro. Finally! Holy shit. I felt that snake. Do you remember me now? <clears throat> Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. I... I get why people hate this fight now. My god. What? Not again. On screen chat. It was working earlier. What's happening? Is he okay? Is it over? I fucking hope so. Yeah, he's going nuts, dude. Gray Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. <laughs> no. He should have died, died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I'm using an I emulator. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, and an was Xbox in controller. Dr. Clark. Yes, he started the gene therapy project. And it is, is a he PlayStation now? One emulator. He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from I those I see why he's a little eccentric. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell this us about thing. this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll I don't want to fight him again. Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. How long are you going to stay <clears throat> in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. <laughs> no taku. We can't stay here forever. This freaking nerd. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. I see his posters and stuff on the wall. He's got like action figures and stuff. I'm okay. He's got I just a PlayStation my on his desk. Bit trying to get away. Well, if that's He's all, a nerd. nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Yeah. <laughs> What's Metal Gear really designed for? 
It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, <laughs> You think so? I, I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put uh. a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you nuts. started. No, you're wrong. Movie poster? I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know. They used no. this guy. All the armament was built by a separate department, <coughs> and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a rail gun. Man, he seems cool. Like a he's a nerd, guy, but I'm a nerd. Yeah. It's fine. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on its back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying mm -hmm. it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Nuclear missiles? Yeah. See, but there's his action figures and stuff. If Metal Gear fired only standard or, nuclear are those missiles, just posters? They, they still look like action have all figure the practical boxes. data they need. No. <coughs> Could it be? I just want to go first person right there and look. Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing this real equipment footage and supercomputers. It's kind of badass. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. I have if you link these, one, you can two, in a three, environment. but it's all just theoretical. And five. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? Uh, I, I tried the four, launched that thing. but I don't have a PS3, Damn. and I can try this to emulate it, Damn. but it's not great. I'm such a fool. Yeah, I want to play through them all in it's order. All my fault. Like, I'll try to do four, but when I tried to emulate it truth is, a while ago, it was not ideal. My grandfather ideal. was part of the Manhattan Project. <laughs> They kept crashing. Maybe the there's something I can fix. His life. And my father, he was born on August Yeah, in order of release. Just one, two, three, four, five. I don't care Day about. The Hiroshima bomb. Like, I know they're not in God's got a sense of order, right. order, or whatever. Chronological order. Three generations of Emmerich men. Not following the timeline. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. And that's fine. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Oh, hell yeah. Using science Have you to played through mankind. all of these before? It's just in the movies. <laughs> that's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Like, Gear? I played a little bit of Where 5 when it came out it? and didn't finish it. And then recently I was like, man, I just want, I want to play that. But I want to play through all of them. So... Oh, you just finished one? Heck yeah. Rex is in the underground maintenance <coughs> base. Where's that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there nice. too. Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You I'm really hurry. excited for two. If they were planning a launch from like, the just start, based on how good this is, and probably finished. I saw people and talking they about how much in a few hours, they must more of a leap me. ahead in other words, they must be this, ready to launch. So. Meryl's got the detonation code. It's kind of crazy keys. that this we'll is a PlayStation 1 game. If we can't honestly. override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'm 
I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. I was about to ask, why is he limping? Like, you'll need me if you're gonna destroy or Rex. Do you always walk like you. that? I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an uh, island? Okay. Uh, okay. <coughs> so what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. I want that. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this I'll be fine. <laughs> Bad leg and He's all. a nerd. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Why don't I get stealth technology? Meryl, <laughs> the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! <laughs> Meryl, what happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really <laughs> looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. I mean, Snake was looking walking, too. Huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be I sure she's by too. herself. Like, let's be real. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. <coughs> You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. <laughs> get it, doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japanimation? Japan was the first country to successfully this make was bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. <laughs> God. He's such You're an right. anime nerd. We have that to he... take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Gundams. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. Oh, hell yeah. I'm on frequency 141.12. Yeah, right. See you later. I don't want the rations and ammo. I want the freaking invisibility cloak. Here. Why won't I move? There. So he's got like action figures right here or something. Maybe comic books. It's hard to tell. There's like a poster for a movie. That's probably the anime he's, he liked. I don't know. Um, let me pick up all this other crap. Uh, 
actually. Crap. Police knots? Yeah, is that a real thing? I don't... I don't know. <coughs> Snake, there's an old Chinese saying. A scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit What's to a be police a knots? scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of Princeton or Vassar like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just a theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. Well, the Soliton nice. radar system or the Codex Police system. Police astronauts? I just wanted to make something Maybe. that would be useful for I just people. saw in like when it was showing it was the anime. I Dr. Emmerich too. Uh, earlier, like the robots tool. said police on them, so I thought machine. maybe it was related. Maybe it would be better if engineers like us just stop making things. I don't know. I just want to save my game. I don't have to do that fucking boss fight again. Oh, yeah, level four key card now. Hell yeah. Oh. supposed to be doing <clears throat> hold on no you not you snake? never mind you well it looks like you've rescued emmerich for the time being yeah with that stealth camouflage he should be able to hide safely gray fox i can't believe it but the real problem is your niece the way the codec got cut off like that has me worried. Something must have happened to her. Hmm. You're worried about Mara? Not exactly. It's just that she's holding the detonation code override keys. They're our last chance of stopping that nuclear launch. You're a cold man. Your mission is more important than the life of your companions? This is war. Survival is the name <laughs> of the game. Sometimes you have to be cold to survive. Yes, but... Snake, either way I want you to find Meryl as soon as possible. I understand. Okay, no, I didn't. I didn't mean to call. Wait, what did he say? Didn't Meryl say that she's somewhere close by? Why don't you start by searching in that building? Okay. So over there is the room we were just in. This is the elevator. Do I need to go back down in here? Like around here somewhere? What's this? But there's stuff I can find in here anyway. Uh, let me wander around for a little bit. Then you can give me a hint later. Shit, let me get oxygen. Then we're gonna go down that other hallway and pick shit up. I don't have any puck. Can he whatever? Let me go in here. I see that there's a camera, but I don't care. Oh, hell yeah, a gas mask. Well, I guess I could... I don't need to leave the gas to put on the gas mask. That's kind of stupid. Of me, but... Oh, now I can't open the door. God damn it. <laughs> I 
wish I had those grenades from earlier. Wait, does the gas mask not... Am I stupid? Oh, it just reduces it. Okay. Oh, no! Wait, I have rations now. Do I have... This? C4? Okay. Picking up everything, dude. Oh, hell yeah. Now let's get past these dudes and just fucking go for it. Do I have ammo for this? No, I have ammo for this though. What do these other people have to say? Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. If things are getting too complicated, try to simplify your thoughts. We're you doomed. can also try calling Campbell for advice. Campbell? I did that already. Didn't Meryl say that she's somewhere close by? Why don't you start by searching in that building? Okay. Oh, god damn it. Didn't Meryl say that Okay, just tell me this. If I take this elevator, am I going the wrong way? Like, am I going to be annoyed and have to backtrack? Okay, cool. We're just going to go through each floor. So there's probably stuff <clears throat> I haven't picked up in other places, too. Oh, man, my knee. That was bad. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this place. Can I... That's the bathroom. Oh, there's a guy in the bathroom. It's level five. We were here last time. Cardboard box. I, for I keep forgetting about cardboard boxes. Shoot him while he's peeing. You know, I kind of want to. Oh, shit, that guy's right outside the door. Oop, that's... That's not one. Oop, that's not one. Oop. Sneak around. Oh, shit. Oh shit. No. <laughs> Man. I gotta go pick all that shit up again. You know what? Fuck it.
<laughs> it worked. Please don't. Oh no. Just leave. No. I'm about hiding the last stall. Do they see me? Okay, we did it. We, sh we shot the guy while he was taking a piss. Don't go down there. <laughs> I don't know if there's a, I don't think there's a reason for me to check all this shit out. Let's see, what do I have? No use, no use, no use, no use. Oh, I think I'm in the elevator. Oh, God. Okay, that was an accident. Yeah, that was that was me being an idiot. Um, let's just pretend it didn't happen. I wish they would stay down after I beat them up. Wait, what? Oh, did I? I forgot the gas mask, didn't I? I feel that. <laughs> Why did I die in the gas? No, I didn't know I could throw people off things. I know I can punch. Oh, that guy just walks past. Hell yeah. Wait, I don't- I didn't want this. God damn it. I didn't mean to hit the elevator. Wait, let's wait for him to move. Make sure it's unequipped. Box. Does this help with the cameras? No, I'm just a box. Stop following me. This is all wrong. <laughs> okay. oh, fuck. 
wish I had rations. That was a crazy little sneak by there. Holy shit. No! I don't even know what rooms there are here. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna die right here. He's gonna shoot me in the back. I don't think I'm very stealthy. But what do you mean weapons button? Make sure it's unequipped. Like, what's unequipped? Oh my god, why is my controller broken? When you're trying to choke or throw guards. Oh! Yeah. Does it, but that I didn't do that. Did it just happen randomly? Or why did he fly over the edge? <coughs> I don't get it. Need to be sneakier. Oh, that weapon. I get- okay, I understand what you're saying now. I was just thinking punch. I was like, what do you mean? I'm just punching. There we go. Oh, I can use him as like a human shield? That was sick. I don't want to have to do that. I want to want to sneak through all this. You know what? Let me just fuck this guy. Bye. Oh, oh. This is not a bad spot. I mean, this is a bad spot, but now I'm stuck here. Oh, they're gone. go pick this up oh hell yeah this is what I needed actually oh I had some I'm just dumb gonna let this guy sneak by going though like oh shit what was that fuck Yeah, go ahead and give me a hint, because I'm just going to wander around aimlessly. <coughs> like, can I go south? Like, right around here? But doesn't it doesn't look like there's a door or anything. Like, B1, okay. Uh, I'm just on the wrong floor. This is the best way to get all my life Snake. back. Just die. Snake. I don't need any of that shit I picked up. But 
this is... Oh, is this like the women's restroom? That's why this door... Oh yeah, I see it. I thought that was an arrow at first. It's... <laughs> And then this door is level five, so I can't open it yet. Oh fuck, I'm gonna fuck it up, I'm gonna fuck it up. That was close. Can I break this computer? Can I break this? <coughs> I forgot I can go under tables. Oh my god. What is this thing? I just want to pick it up. Don't stop coming. There's, like, if I get caught, it's over. It's just fucking over. I guess I can take this gas mask off. crawl under here. Oh, is she going to be walking a certain way? That's her, yeah. <coughs> so, so what do I do? Do I go like choke her or something freaking squeaky shoes yeah I see her she's all walking all funny wait she's that one but there's these other dudes around do I just Wait, did I just punch her out? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just punched her out. Wait, she's gone. Where did she... Where did she go? Don't move. <laughs> I like that she did have her own like sounds when she gets That's punched. The second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary solid snake. Your Meryl, there's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. 
one or the other. <coughs> Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Kill Killing. Him. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First <laughs> it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a okay. nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either uh. we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two Bro, be? Bro, she doesn't even have, have them no all. I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then what you can you shoot do? me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. Just fuck already. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. You know he wants to. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not going to lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face <clears throat> while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Damn. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber <laughs> Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Huh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. Okay. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Oh, heck yeah, we can go through that hallway now. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. That's strange. There's no guard. You were the that guard. The music. I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Wait. Okay. I want to save it. Just thing paranoid. You're with Meryl. You should have seen the colonel. 
He doesn't like to let it show because he's the boss, but he was so happy he could barely contain himself. I'm glad to hear that. I gotta save all the time. Talk to you later, Snake. Wait, I didn't want to go back. There we go. My head. Oh, it hurts. What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake. Now, are you okay? Uh, uh, what happened? I'm fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think this has been spoiled for me. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Oh no. I don't want to say. What am I doing? Oh. Snake. How oh, do you like me? What yeah, this fucking guy. So, Snake, Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Okay. Yeah, she deserved a nap. She's been busy. Why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I'm Psychomantis. That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. Huh. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. Now, let me read your mind. No, perhaps I should say your past. You're a careless man, aren't you? And you're a poor warrior as well. That's true. However, you are skillful at eluding traps. Still don't believe me. Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. Your memory is completely clean. Hmm. You have not said it often. You are somewhat reckless. I can read you like an open book. I don't know how I'm going to do this. The demonstration is over. Use this 
gun, why not? Can I shoot him even? I don't... Oh, I just ran into that chair. Just for fun. Oh my god. Ah. <coughs> um, thank you. So, like, I know he's fucking with my controller, right? How do I even hit him? Yeah, just tell me what the fuck to do. Honestly. This is one time. Cause like, isn't it a thing where he's like fucking with my control? Yeah, switch to player two. That's what I'm thinking. That's why I'm. That's why I'm confused. I'm like, how am I gonna do that? Maybe I can set my keyboard up as player two controller. Hmm. Hold on. Oh, I didn't know it was even on Switch. Maybe I should have just bought it. <laughs> Let's see if I can... What? Or so, what's this? Okay, okay, okay. <coughs> oh shit, that was not what we wanted. Actually, let's see if we can just do that. I think I got it. I think I have this set to controller two now. I'm not really positive. So I knew I needed to do that. I just wasn't sure if it was gonna work. My head. Oh, it hurts. What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out soon. Are you okay? Uh, uh, what happened? What happened? I'm fine. I'm Come fine. on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. I like that her voice sounds like she's wearing a mask. Although I guess that's his voice rather. Do a snake impression. No, JK, JK, yeah. Metal Gear. Ah! Ugh, 
crab battle. Encountered some kind of cave demon. Snake. Uh, yeah. Snake, Meryl's not herself. Don't. I know. Snake. Oh, I thought. I... Oh wait! <laughs> don't don't do that. I almost just shot her. Sneak around, but I'm dummy thick, you, and the clap of my cheeks keeps alerting the guards. My power. Now, I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner. I can skip this shit. What am I doing? Now, let me <coughs> Damn it, Hideo. Where is he at? I want the rations. Changing the channels. Okay, so I can't hit him when he's like preparing his thing. It's like, God damn it, I keep getting too close. I'm gonna die this time just because like, I'm not used to the patterns of everything. That's fine. Dang it! We got it this time, now that I know stuff. I'm gonna eat my last gummy worm.
I like this scenario because no one even told Snake to do this. He's just beating the shit out of her. It's like... Wait, is he... Is he gonna let me, like, kill her? Yeah, they didn't tell me to do that yet. So, like, it's gonna let me just kill her entirely, isn't it? You're under mind control. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> That's dumb. She was under mind control. Why why do they have to tell me? Why can't Snake just be like, oh, she's under mind control? I know this. So stupid. Just let me knock her out without having to have her dad tell me. Or her uncle or whatever. Oh, I guess now she's under mind control. Okay. Controller port 2. If you do that, he won't be able to read your mind. Thanks, we're already doing this. I appreciate the, the thought, I guess. Yes, I do. <laughs> Should I use the other gun? Oh my god. 
Oh. I knew those paintings were there, and I just ran into them anyway. I do, you know. Why? Why couldn't I read your mind? God dang it. All right, dude. Wait, what? You are powerful indeed, <clears throat> but I know your weak point. What? Meryl, stand right where he can see you and blow your brains out. Ah! Stop, Meryl! Over? No, it's not over. Fuck, I don't help. Oh my god. There's no rations. Finally. Fuck, where's he at? <laughs> My thumb is gonna fall off, dude. Teleporting to like the same spot every time. He's got like four spots, it looks like. No, I... <laughs> I ran right into that last one.
Like I even saw it like curving to the right and my, my thumb was just stuck running in that direction. It was just perfect aim on his part. My head. Oh, it hurts. What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, Shut up. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Yeah, I was just like, you know, like, you know, you shouldn't run. You shouldn't do the thing, but you're already doing it. And it's too late. It just ha like it happens in slow motion. It's like, no. <gasps> All right, Snake. this is it. This is the run. I guess we'll listen to him tell me to punch his daughter in the face. Wait, can I? I like that his name is also like just one letter off of video, so it's like, it's just too perfect. Like, you know, someone playing that and having no idea what was going on was like, what the heck? Hideo. What the heck does that mean? Video, 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 video. That was so close. I almost got hit by the paintings. <coughs> the hell's wrong with the television? It keeps turning to the Hideo channel. Dad, what are you saying? The Hideo channel? Yeah, what button on the remote is that? I knew your dang PlayStation was going to mess up my television. Now it's saying video instead of video. Should never done bought you them damn video games. Now you done downloaded virus on my VCR. Fucking hell. Oh wait, I have rations. Well, that was close. Okay, I shouldn't just stood there. Stop! 
barrel. No, it cannot be. No. Okay, this is it. Don't get hit. Get dummy. Oh heck yeah, I can cancel his attack if I shoot him fast enough. That is great information. I like staying over here because you can see more of the room. Show up in the right spot. figuring something out. Wherever I am when I hear that effect is where the attack is going to get thrown. So if I'm just constantly moving, I'm not going to get hit. And that's good to know. Well, I'm probably not going to get hit. Just download it. It's easy to get running. We're getting so fucking close on this boss fight, too. All this talking. A commander is waiting. Snake. Oh, 
I know, I know. We have to knock her out because she's under mind control. It's kind of annoying. things back on the wall, dude. Knocking myself out, it's fine. I think I have a rash. Weapon off. Oh my god. Yeah, this is there's a lot going on here for a PlayStation 1 game. It's kind of insane. Dude, Mason, you know, do you know the gimmick of this fight where he, like, reads your mind? He can tell, like, what you're doing on the controller so you can't hit him. So you have to plug the controller into port 2. Like, we had to go through the emulator settings to figure out how to do that because obviously I don't have a port 2 to plug into. You can do it though. How do you... Can 
Can I save right here? And skip all this build up every time? Will it load me at this exact moment? I know that those are the voice actor names, but do you think there is like, do you think there's like a kid playing this when it came out? Like, oh, Psycho Mantis' his real name is Doug Stone. But, like, there are probably playground arguments about characters' real names and shit. Psycho Mantis is just his code name. Yeah, we know. <laughs> that was you. That's funny. It probably would have been me, too. I was 10 years old when this came out, so I would have been like... I would not have understood. I was a freaking idiot. These ones I hate. Ugh. Shoot the wall. One hit left in me before I need to heal. Ah. 
guys next. Why? Why <coughs> That part is easy. I love that part of the fight. Oh, that was bullshit. That was, I'll, I'll own up to that miss, but that first one was bullshit. How am I supposed to even? What if? First off, get out of the fucking way. Wait, what? Why did it explode right away? Am I just dumb? I just blew myself up. It's not a big deal. You tried shooting her. <laughs> Man, it didn't load me into the freaking fight. That's annoying. Whatever. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. I just gotta avoid getting hit, you know, that's the thing. It's that one where he's like teleporting is where it messes me up every time. Maybe I just wait that out? Like, do I have to damage him to get him to another thing? Or will he just stop?
just fist fighting him. Oh, that is a good point. gonna just fucking this isn't what I wanted Snake, are you okay? oh it's just a save I can't load from her okay I just wanted to start the fight over This is like my worst attempt yet, honestly. Just don't get up. He'll tire himself out, right? Okay, get up. Teleporting, and I'm not going to do anything. I'm just gonna run around and not get hit. Until he does something else. That was close. fucking do anything. Nope. I 
can't fist fight him if he's just in random spots. What do you mean? Stun grenade might work, that's a good idea. We'll have to wait. We will have to wait. Zelda ass music. Try stun grenade when he's doing the uh, when he gets to that last part there. I hope that's not your only trick. That is one thing about these games. There's just like so much equipment that interacts in different ways with different things. I just forget to even try anything new. Now let me read your mind. No, perhaps I should say your past. Just let me shoot you. Controller's fucking up. Freaking paintings every time.
this creep. Okay. Let's just see what happens. Uh, that just blinds me. I don't know what the fuck. What else do we got? See, I tried setting C4 last time and it blew up in my face. Grenades kind of suck. Let's do a stun grenade again just because. Wait, no, that's C4. God damn it. Just kill me. It's over. Mason, what the fuck do I do? I didn't even mean to put this down. I thought I had the stun grenade equipped. It's not even the office chairs that fuck me up. It's like every other thing he does. The chairs are fine. They just spin in a circle. It's all the other shit. My head. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. have to answer the phone like she's mind controlled I don't care They just spin like a thinner align myself down here and shoot up. That's what I've been doing though. Like shooting in this game is the worst, honestly. That thing, like, I didn't. Wait, if you destroy the faces on the statues, oh my fucking god, really? Yeah, we just read that. <laughs> Wait, wait. He won't be able to read your mind anymore. Well, he already can't because I switched the control report. So is that what this does? Or what? Or does, does it make him not be able to throw chairs? Switching the control report keeps him from reading your mind. I don't want him to teleport. Well, then it's useless, because I already did that. Like, the mind reading isn't an issue.
Did I ration already? Oh. That's what I've been doing this whole time, Mason. is you can go fully auto with these guns but like when, when you hit them there they have like invincibility frames so there's no point you're just wasting ammo to continue to shoot like that god damn it this is over I fucked up earlier Why are you playing video games on extra easy? What are you doing? Pussy. Stop, Meryl. Dude, I don't want to go do that. Fuck that. I don't want to go back and look for shit. I'd rather bang my head against the wall. Dude, I haven't smoked in two weeks now. Alright, this next attempt is gonna be the one. Snake! Crab battle. Crab battle. Ugh. Encountered some kind of cave demon. Ah, oh, it broke my knife. Uh. No, I have, I have some. I just haven't smoked. Like, I, I have some. There is first person, kind of. Just can't do anything with it. <laughs> you just look around. My head. Oh, it hurts. What's wrong? Like I, I don't need to don't buy anything. Come here, snake. I'm trying not to spend money actually. Are you okay? Ah. Uh. What happened? I'm fine. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Uh. Hold on. I'm gonna go grab a water. Dude, Mason, check out my Be Right Back screen. Shit, there. I'll be back.
Crap battle. Oh, hi sloth. We got Rando showing up. Holy 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 Man forced to eat beard. Uh wrong one. I got water. I got Oreo. <coughs> We're trying to defeat Psycho Mantis, but I'm an idiot. How long have I been doing this? Like 45 minutes or something? Ugh. This is the run. Jabroni. Snake. Snake. Dude, honestly, some of these are kind of like harder than, than Dark Souls. Like, in Dark Souls, at least, when I fail, it feels like it was my fault. Here, it's just like God. Useless woman. Up to camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. Hope that's not your only trick. Now let me read your mind. No, perhaps I should say your past. You're a careless man, aren't you? Hideo. Who changed the channel to Hideo? What in tarnation? Oh, at least that didn't do a lot of damage. I'm just gonna play everything as safe as I can, I guess. There's a boss fight in three where you can win. You're confusing me by spelling win wrong. <laughs> by just surviving. Yeah, I, I know that. these freaking paintings <laughs> dang it Bobby stop changing the channel to the video and uh, we can defeat this man I'm playing video games giving my DVD player items yo he destroyed the head right there that's interesting. God damn invincibility frames are pissing me off, making me waste my ammunition. guys dude everything's a sound cue isn't it am I just now realizing that that was unfair he teleported right in front of me Okay. 
Okay. You are powerful indeed, but I know your weak point. Meryl, stand right where he can see you and blow your brains out. Ah! Stop, Meryl! Teleporting shit. I'm gonna eat this Oreo. This teleporting shit is what pisses me off. I'm gonna get a drink of water too. My question is, if I just avoid his teleporters at this point in the fight, will he stop teleporting, or do I have to damage him to move him to the next thing? So I think I am going to have to damage him. I just suck at it. Oh, that was lucky on my part. Come over here. Okay, dude. Okay. If I just run up and down, he's not gonna hit. Oh, that was close. Okay, maybe this is a bad idea. myself by saying, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Just... What do I do? Someone tell me what the fuck to do. Like, what? do I do? <laughs> How do we tackle this conundrum? I mean, you only gotta look everything up. We'll figure it out eventually. Oh, that's it. That's gotta be it. I'm out of ammo for that gun, though. Still doing this shit. Do something different. I should have punched him right there. Just dodge and shoot and like interrupt. The thing is, like, he's always in like a random spot and I can't ever judge where he's gonna be. So it's like when I try to shoot him, he's in such an awkward position compared to me that I'm going to get hit by the thing he throws. And we can't do that. That's bad. I don't want to get hit. I will run around for two hours here if I have to.
Well, no, because he's teleporting. Like, that still requires me to know where he's gonna be. And, like, and when he's half teleported, you can't hurt him, I think. Or didn't feel like it before. And, like, you can't shoot diagonally worth of shit. There we go. There we fucking go. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. This thing sucks, but it's gonna work. Oh, they're both out here now. Oh my god. I need... You do just have to damage him through... Okay, here we go. Here we go. Wait, I don't have a weapon equipped. out of ammo for shit? Oh my god. Bro, he's so low. Oh, right here, right here. Oh my god, I got hit by the chair he was putting back. No! Dude, everything went wrong there. <laughs> I, I, I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. No, I need to focus less on aiming right where he's at and just do a, a like a a spray. Like My head. shoot in the general oh, area hurts. rather than What's wrong? Are you Yeah, okay? I need to do a uh. Mr. Foxhound, the commander is waiting. <coughs> Do you think there's someone that thought Solid Snake's name was Life? Because, like, her health bar says Meryl, but mine says Life. the button on the remote control. That would have freaked me out as a kid. I'd be like, what? They changed the channel? How did they change the channel? It's just frustrating, Slaw. It's just like these old games are fucking hard. We got this, though. Oh, I almost just got myself hit there. Ooh, 
that was close. gonna wait for the chairs because I don't even I don't even wanna chance it. These little lamps, these are easy to deal with. They alternate when they move. These things suck, but I know what they do. Can you crouch to dodge? No, because like, there's the crouch. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It's, it seems kind of slow. I don't know if I want to risk it. Damn, I should have shot him right there. I need more ammo already. No, I tried grenades earlier, or stun grenades earlier, and they just seem to blind me unnecessarily and nothing happens to him. So I'm just gonna run around. Do I have s yeah, I do. I'm just gonna run around and uh, keep shooting him like an idiot. There's probably some kind of badass strategy, you know? But I don't think we're gonna figure it out. Punch it, god damn. Why? Why couldn't I read your mind? I'm scared of the grenade. Keep blowing myself up with some of them. What? Turn around, holy shit. God, that was awful. <laughs> Dude, didn't Otacon say some shit about, like, I can give you rations and ammo, but, like, I don't know... How do you do that? Yeah, he reads your memory card, but... I'm on an emulator, I don't have a memory card, I don't have any other saved games on here, so he's just like, oh, your memory's clean. If you had like other saved games, you would like say different things. Shit. I just have to hit him here like twice. This 
my machine gun ammo, bro? Two bullets for this thing. <clears throat> I just want him to appear over here so I can easily just shoot up or down. That's what I want. Right? Like that. Where's he at? He's still throwing shit. He like I was not in the right spot there. Here by this wall. I know that's a spot that he spawns in. Oh, I don't have any ammo. Hmm. Day save. Back to the strategy. Not that strategy. Come on. Right here, bro. Right here. this. I want the other gun. Come on. Just like that. I didn't mean to throw grenades. What's happening? Creating issues for myself. <laughs> okay, bro. I need a drink of water. He's at he's down to like one hit, but if he gets a good hit on me, I'm also down to one hit. And I have like one bullet. I, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Fuck. There it is. He's dead. It's over. It only took like an hour. Wait, is this a call? What's happening? No. My emulator's not responding. Now we just have to wait. Okay, we're good. Colonel, we're good. <laughs> your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. I thought my now emulator was about speak. to crash. Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So, you use the uh. other... A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I will read your future. <laughs> to get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. Why is he telling me? You have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door 
behind the bookcase. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers. And use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I swear, so many points in this game, I ask a question and then Snake just says the same question. It's happened like six oh, times. Gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed it was enough to make me sick every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly right. pass on their dna we're designed that way and that's why there is war but you you are different you're the same as us we have no past no future we live in the moment that's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. Bum, 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 bum. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to... The village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. How I just old is this guy? an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen true evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. Meryl's? I saw you there. You have a large place in your heart. A large place? <laughs> yes, a large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind. Before I die, I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. <laughs>
Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never <gasps> doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, Damn can it, I Meryl. ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. Why did he say you're such so, an asshole? So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. Let's go. Health increase. Alright. Oh yeah, I need to fix the controller. How did we... How did we do that? No, I don't want to quit. How did we... Wait, no. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's pick up any ammo and shit. <coughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Apparently there's a PS3 emulator that runs well now. I have the PS3 emulator installed. Maybe you're talking about a different one. But uh, I ran Metal Gear Solid 4 on it for a minute, and it crashed like three times. It was really annoying. We'll get there when we get there, though. Did I say three or four? I meant four. Could there be wolves in there? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. All right. Wait, where did she go? Follow me and she's just fucking gone. Oh, she's over there. Wait, what? Oh, I can crawl. Oh, there's fucking dogs now. I just saw her and now she's not where I saw her. I don't I don't get it, but whatever. Dude, what are these reflections in this game? It's crazy, honestly. Sorry, dog. Wait, it's back up? Okay, 
This can't be right. Get off the wall. I don't have any. I don't have any health. This is the worst. went through one crawlable space. Oh, no, get up! God. Did it save after the boss fight? Because I didn't save after the boss. Okay, thank God. I was about to kill I'll myself. Snake, if I had to do that me. boss fight again, I was just going to bed. Yeah, I know there's another one. I know what you're saying. Okay, we got a ration now. We got some bullets. I'm not even going to bother punching these dogs. They're just going to get shot in the face. I wish I could shoot him from right here. That would be nice. Forgetting there's like this first person view as well. Right here. it now. Also just hard to see anything. So I went in that hole, there wasn't sh I mean I got shit in there, but... What's that? 
That's where I came from. <coughs> what if I go back in that hole? Yeah, let's go have some check out over here. Wait, is that the hole? Or is that the hole? I don't know how you're supposed to see that. Everything just looks like a blurry green texture. Wait, what? Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. Yeah, these dogs are fucking scary though. Can I pet it? Oh! No. It loves me and I just... I didn't mean to punch you, dude. I just want to look at the dog. He's cold. I didn't know it would punch him. I thought it would, like, pet him or something. Oh, I should probably just equip this. Duh. <laughs> I can't believe you just punched the nice dog. What the fuck? This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar is working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me! Oh my god. I hope her steps stay there. How does she do this? How does she know? So, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? Women's intuition. Oh no. Oh my god, I was I freaked out because her footprints were disappearing. What? Well, it didn't kill me, so can I just, can I just do this? There. Dude, he's checking her out too. Well, she's checking her out. What is it? Get down. Uh, uh, oh, fuck. Uh, Strength. 
I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Now get out of here. I want to make this my ringtone. Can you do that on iPhone? Meryl. Damn. Snake, it's a trap. The sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl so he can pick you off. Don't do it. Must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. <laughs> Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, I've seen her weeks. YouTube channel. It doesn't it's matter awful. to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, <coughs> but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take have it a easy. Rocket launcher. I'm gonna save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate <laughs> on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm gonna save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake. Thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. All right. Wait, what the fuck do I do? Probably should heal. Uh, wait, what the fuck do I do? Uh, you just run? Nope, the second I... Nope. Oh yeah, the, the mines. <laughs> Find a thing. It's the only way to save Meryl. Okay. Sniper Wolf is Foxhound's best sharpshooter. Everyone knows that women have more patience than men, but Sniper Wolf can go for a whole week with no sleep, no food, besides never straying from her target. And on top of that, she takes diazepam so her hands never tremble. Okay. I don't want this on. That's annoying. Snake, run. Ooh, I can zoom in. That's fun. Oh, she just dies in ten seconds. Cool. What's wrong? What happens if I try to run? Like, I know she's gonna shoot me here, but like, will she shoot me every time I just cross there? Yeah. Okay, let's just die real quick then. Come on, I'm waiting. Kill me. <coughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. Can I crawl? 
No, that was stupid. Why, why would that work? That makes no sense. We'll just leave her on the floor. Wait, what was that? Is Foxhound's best. Yeah, you said that last time. What's this guy have to say? The most important tools you need to be a good sniper are the senses that you were born with. No amount of training. That's great, but I don't have a gun. Yeah. about Meryl so like, can I just kill her and then gotcha oops <laughs> Okay, get Leave out of me. here. I did it. I left. doing wait what there we go oh wait no oh my god oh I punched the wrong dog I'm going to shoot the dog. Bro, he just knocked me through the door. through here and see what's going on. Okay.
that's right. <laughs> Throwing grenades at fucking wolves, dude. Okay, just tell me what the fuck to do. I don't care. This game fucking sucks and I hate it. That's not true, but like, I don't want to spend forever doing dumb bullshit. Why is that a thing? Like... Like, why don't I have that? Okay, let me get the sniper from... Let him tell me what to do then, and we'll, I'll figure it out from here. It's just... God damn it. It's just like, how are you supposed to figure that out? Otacon, have you ever seen a sniper rifle anywhere on this base? A sniper rifle? Merrill's been shot by an extremely good sniper. Sniper? A high quality sniper rifle is the only way I can fight back. I, uh, I saw a PSG-1 in the armory in the second floor basement of the tank hangar. The second floor basement of the tank hangar? I have to go all the way back there? Well, yeah. What's wrong with you, Otacon? You know uh, what, actually, nothing. no. What we do is we save right here. You die if you leave her like that. Aren't you going to save her? She's just bait. It's me they want. If I step out there, I'm going to get picked off, and who's going to save Meryl then? I'm hoping that as long as I don't fall for it, they'll leave Meryl alive. So you're just going to leave Meryl there? Yep. She's hurt. I know what I'm doing. Meryl understands too. That's horrible. You're right. It is horrible. But that's war, and the first rule of war is to stay alive. So we're going to save. And I'm going to do this shit tomorrow. Okay? <clears throat> I don't want to backtrack. I've been playing this for four hours. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe like Sunday. Maybe Monday. Maybe. Next time. Okay? Until then, this man was forced to eat his beard. Did you know about this guy? Yeah. He he was forced to eat his beard a long time ago. There's a news story. Hold on. This man was forced to eat his own beard. 13 years ago. Um, one second. How do I do this? Window. Okay. Let me close the emulator. Last May, his beard was cut off, stuffed in his mouth, and he was ordered to eat it. But that's only the beginning <laughs> of what a Lawrence Berg man says he and his brother endured, all because of the fight over a lawnmower. Jackie Congedo spoke with Harvey Westmoreland and joins us now. Well, Kevin and Nancy, sentencing for the two men charged in the attack is next Tuesday. And for Harvey Westmoreland and his brother, it's been a long year and a half, and they're ready to put this episode behind them. That's the LEX 18 Big Story at 11. Lexington. Mason, that's not far from here. 
We could probably go meet this guy. That's what Harvey Westmoreland, assuming he's still alive, I guess. Used to think about former friends Troy Halt and James Hill. Dude, his friends. That was before May of last year on Willisburg Road, where Halt used to live. My brother was cleaning out the stalls out there for Troy. Breaking news. You know, working for him. From 13 years ago. They call want me to come around there. Well, when I get there, I realize that they're already drunk. And of all oh, things to fun. fight about, Westmoreland says, punches started flying over this lawnmower. Troy offered to buy it from me for okay. $250. I paid 20 bucks for it. He thought I was trying to cheat him. <laughs> One thing led to another, and before I noted, it, there was knives and guns. And Is this Boogie 2988? Everything just went haywire. He says his brother had a mark on his neck where a knife was held. But Westmoreland's loss was more permanent. They cut my beard and forced me to eat it. They cut my he beard says and Hill forced let them me go, to eat it. Threatened them. If we called the police, they said we would not live to see daylight. But that wasn't enough to keep the two brothers from calling 911. I believe in the law. I believe that justice has been served. And you know, it will be after Tuesday. That's the sentence. Permanent. <laughs> and while it'll take some time for some things to grow back to normal. It's not as long as it was. Westmoreland says what's more important, he and his brother lived to tell the tale. I was actually in fear for my life. I bet. And I was really in fear for my brother. Do you think they life. made him like swallow Sentencing the beard or do they just Troy fill his mouth with next hair? Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. in Lawrenceburg Circuit Court. Back to you. Man. Both Hill and Holt have played guilty. What else guilty is on this channel? Are... Golf game prank gone bad. Losing weight with beer. Oh, what is? That's a naked man. Okay. Um. Ginger kid. Canadian beer commercial. Best feeling ever. That looks like blackface. I'm scared to click a lot of these videos. Uh, okay, I'm done. I'm going to go do something else now. Thanks for hanging out.